You know, maybe if you took a step back, you'd see that Mom and Nick could be good for each other. Rick, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm just checking in. But, uh, should probably get going. You're probably really swamped. I am. But I'm glad you stopped yeah. by. It's good to see you. Good to see you, too. You coming, Ridge? I need to speak to your mother. Bye, honey. Bye. Were you and Rick arguing? No. Ridge, it seemed a little tense when I walked in here. He's just not real thrilled that I was here, that's all. He's just being protective. He doesn't have to protect you from me. A lot of what he said wasn't far off the mark, either. You want to do right by your children? Give them the kind of life you weren't able to give Rick and Bridget. I understand that, Brooke. But that's not the only issue here. This affects your family, too. The kids really miss you. I do, too. I know I shouldn't say that. But I can't just stand here and pretend that I'm not in love with you, Brooke. Because I am. I am. But if you need to move on with your life now, then maybe I should take Rick's advice and move on with mine. Rick told you to move on? He thinks that seeing me is too painful for you. Well, I'm not going to lie to you, Rich. It hurts, and it probably will for a while. But when you came to me the other night and told me about your dream... I was on a high. I felt it too, Brooke. We shared something. Both of us seen Taylor that way. That didn't seem like a coincidence. Well, how else would you describe it? Hey, you're the one that's always talking about signs. That dream brought us together. Taylor brought us together. <sighs> Rich, don't. Oh, you haven't thought about this? I have to think about my children. I have to think about Hope and this baby. Your brother's baby. I don't want to talk about Nick anymore. Rich, this is a reality now, and we have to deal with it. Look, I'm trying to do what's right. I'm trying to do the ethical thing. Yeah, well, I wish I shared your sympathy there, but this is tearing me apart. Me too. I'm sorry. What am I doing here? Um, maybe Rick is right. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be here. I kept thinking this would get easier, and I'd be able to accept it. Losing you, the kids, everything that we planned. It's just not fair. After all this time, after everything we've been through, and now here we are. I'm, I'm trying to be strong, and, and I'm trying to cope with it, but I, I, I just don't know what else to do. Deacon, will you leave us alone, please? I said get out. There's something I have to tell you. I think you're both going to want to hear this one. I can't let 
Deke can talk to Brock. I just can't. I have to stop him. Jackie, listen to me. Ridge could be the father of Brooke's baby. Now, come on, you can't keep that a secret. Oh, yes, I can. For my son's sake, I have to. So, you have something important to tell us. Yeah. Well, Deacon, we don't really want to hear it. Okay, I'm going to save everyone a lot of time here. I know about the baby. I also know that the paternity test said that Nick is the father. Well, that's got nothing to do with you, so why don't you just leave? Brooke, please, listen to me for a second, all right? I care about you. If there's something that I can do to make your life easier, let Deacon, me try... Deacon, no, you can't. Yes, I can, if you'll just listen to me, please. You're... Great. Yes? Who? Maintenance. Just tell them I'll call them back. Thank you. Look, I'm really not in the mood for Please, this Please, Brooke, right I now. swear to you, just listen to me for a second. What I'm going to tell you is going to change everything. For both of you. Oh, what if I'm too late? If Deacon gets to Brooke, he could just ruin everything. Brooke and Ridge. starting to heal. No, they're miserable. You might not be willing to do anything about this, but I am. No, you won't. What I'm going to tell you guys might sound um, pretty unbelievable. Oh, Deacon, if you have something to say, just say it. Okay, um, this might wind up being a long shot. But as we all know, long shots sometimes come in. God knows you two are due for one. Oh, please. I've had a very difficult day. Brooke, Ridge, I think it's about to start looking up. Now what? Brooke, I... Oh, you, you have company. Well, looks like it's my day for unexpected visitors. Deacon here was about to tell us something. Could it wait? I really do have to speak to Brooke in private. Well, yeah, I'll just, I'll just hang out and, yeah, go ahead. Is something wrong? Brooke, you better come here. There's a pipe burst. The whole fourth floor is flooded. Oh, God. Jackie, I'm come sorry. On. I've really got to oh, take care please, of this. Please, please. Okay, come on. Deacon, you still here? Look, I don't have time for this, so whatever it is you have to say, just spit it out. This earth-shattering news you have for us, let's hear it. Deacon, you had something to tell us. What's this long shell of yours, huh? No, Bro Brooke, you don't have any time for this. I mean, I'm sure that the... No, no, it's fine. Maintenance is taking care of that. So what is it? You haven't heard. Oh, Deacon showed just part of his new collection to Eric Forrester today. <laughs> That's your big news? You said it would change everything for us. Well, it could. You see, I've just come from Forrester and... Deacon's a free agent now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I get it. So now you want to work here for me? Not in a million years. I guess you better consider your next best option. I should be going too. You had something to tell me. It can wait. You got other things on your mind. Was odd. Yeah. What do you think Jackie really wanted? I was talking about Deacon. Well, nothing that guy does anymore surprises me. The way he barged in here. 
You asked him if it was about business. He said no. Well, he knew we'd throw him out. And him talking about the baby? Got our attention, didn't it? How does he even know about it? He works at Forrester. So all of our problems are office gossip? Everybody talks about it? Everybody but us. Just the fourth floor? When will the building inspector get here? Okay, thanks. Well, it looks like there might be some structural damage to the third floor ceiling. And I won't know how bad it is until the inspector checks it out. I'll stick around. Mm, I think I'm going to send everybody home. Oh, Logan, you're not hanging around here by yourself. I can handle it. You're going to shut down over a busted pipe? Rich, I'm not going to put my people at risk. I have a responsibility here. Responsible for a lot more than that, aren't I? This baby and Logan, Nick. Logan, Logan, Logan. Hey. I know I upset you earlier before Deacon barged in. Rich, it's okay. It's not your fault. It's just hard. I don't want to make it any harder for either of us. Really, I don't. I just can't stay away. I know I should, I've tried, but it just feels so damned wrong. As much as it hurts to be with you, it's much worse being without you. I feel the same way. Well, then what are we doing? What are we doing? You said you... you you want to be able to cope. You said you want to be strong, but you just don't know what else to do. Hey, why don't we get away, just the two of us, and just have some time to ourselves, huh? Rich, we can't do that. It, it's not going to help. I mean, we're always going to have your brother's baby coming between us. that line. It's killing me. I can't. Well, that does seem like a pretty good deal for me. It's just not so good for Rich and Brooke. Questioning the results now would just cause them pain. Believe me, Deacon. Better for everyone if this never comes out. Bye, Logan. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.